Good day everyone. Today we will discuss another example of redox reaction, displacement of metal from its salt solution. In displacement reaction of metal, more electropositive metal, which located higher position in the electrochemical series, will displace less electropositive metal, which located lower position in the electrochemical series. So the metal ions of the less electropositive metal will be displaced from its salt solution. So the salt solution referring to less electropositive metal. For more electropositive metal, it is easier for the metal to lose electron. And by losing electron, the metal undergo oxidation and so act as reducing agent. The metal ion act as oxidizing agent because the metal ion accept electron to undergo reduction. The metal will be oxidized into metal ion and the metal ion will be reduced to metal. So essentially, in a displacement reaction of metal, there's a transfer of electron from the metal to the metal ion. There's a transfer of electron. Generally, metals are good electron donors and therefore metals are good reducing agent. However, Different metals have different strengths as reducing agents. The strength of metal as reducing agents can be compared by using the electrochemical series. The electrochemical series lists metal according to their electropositivity. The higher position metal in the electrochemical series, which is the more electropositive metals, have higher tendency to lose electron. So loose electron, this metal undergo oxidation. Since this metal easily undergo oxidation, so they act as strong reducing agent. On the other hand, the ability of metal ion to accept electron increases going down the electrochemical series. So the strength of the metal ion as oxidizing agent increases down the electrochemical series. So when the metal ion accepts electron, it in undergo reduction and so act as oxidizing agent. In a displacement of metal, a more electropositive metal will displace metal ion of less electropositive metal. As a general rule, higher position metal in ECS will displace lower position of metal in ECS from its salt solution. However, the lower position cannot displace the higher position metal in ECS from its salt solution. For example, Let's see zinc and copper metal. Zinc is located in higher position in electrochemical series and more electropositive than copper. So zinc can replace copper from its salt solution. But the opposite is not true, where copper cannot displace zinc from its salt solution. Now, we will discuss the reaction between zinc and copper to sulfate solution, where the zinc strip is dipped into copper to sulfate solution and observe any color change or whether any metal deposited. First, we'll observe that the zinc strip will dissolve. This is because the zinc is oxidized so that zinc becomes zinc to plus ion in the solution. So zinc is oxidized to zinc ion by losing electron. Next, 
we will notice that the intensity of this blue solution decreases due to the decrease in concentration of Cu2 plus ion. Sometimes the blue solution will turn colorless if all the Cu2 plus ion is reduced to copper metal by gaining electron. And brown solid will be deposited on the zinc surface due to copper 2 plus ion reduction to copper. Next, we will learn this redox reaction in terms of increase or decrease of oxidation number. Oxidation number of zinc is zero because it's a neutral element and so is copper. Copper ion is plus two, sulfate ion is minus two, zinc is plus two, and sulfate is minus two. You will notice that the oxidation number of sulfate do not change, but the oxidation number of zinc increases from zero to plus two. So oxidation number of zinc increases from zero to plus two while the oxidation number of copper decreases from plus two to zero so we can say that zinc undergo oxidation because of increase in oxidation number and copper ion undergo reduction because the oxidation number decreases so moving on to writing the half equation of oxidation and reduction for the reaction between zinc and copper to sulfate solution so first we will convert the chemical equation into ionic equation so all the aqueous solution can be converted into its respective ion while the metal like zinc and copper will remain unchanged next ion that exists in reactant and product side can be cancelled out which is the sulfate and now we will just write down whatever left on the equation so zinc Cu2 plus ion, zinc2 plus ion, and Cu. So the first step in writing the equation is we need to write the reactant and product. So the reactant is zinc. And the product is zinc 2 plus for oxidation. And for the reaction, the reactant is Cu2 plus. And the product is Cu. Atoms are balanced. Next, we will add electron. Zinc undergo oxidation by losing electron. So when we lose electron, the electron are no longer ours. So the electron is written on the product side of the equation and since it's 2 plus so it's also 2 electron Cu2 plus undergo reduction to Cu so when you undergo reduction gaining electron and you gain the electron so the electron is written on the reactant side since it's Cu2 plus so this is also 2 electron that way the charge will also be balanced so we'll just summarize that zinc undergo oxidation by losing two electron to form zinc two plus ion Cu2 plus ion undergo reduction by gaining two electron 
to form copper metal so that zinc undergo oxidation act as reducing agent while copper sulfate solution act as oxidizing agent so we can summarize that since zinc is a more electropositive metal than copper zinc can displace copper from copper to sulfate solution to put what we learn in context let's try one spm question which is spm 2017 section c essay question 10 b and the question with six marks so first step is you always try to identify where the six marks come from so it's there first we need to suggest what is metal m and what is metal n so that is each word one mark suggest being it could either be name or even formula and next we need to write ionic equation so that will be two marks for reaction one and two marks for reaction two so the total is six now let's study reaction one and reaction two closely in reaction one the observation is blue solution turns colorless which means copper to sulfate was displaced or the concentration of Cu2 plus ion decreases. So metal M displaces Cu2 plus ion to become M plus ion and Cu metal. So metal M can be any metal that is more electropositive than copper or in higher position in ECS. Okay, let's look at the observation in reaction 2. Colorless solution turns blue, suggesting the presence of Cu2 plus ion. So metal N is definitely copper. So when that copper reacts with silver ion, copper become copper to plus, which gives the blue color of the solution plus silver. So now let's write the half equation of oxidation and reduction. First, we will choose metal M as any metal that located higher position in copper. So since we learned about zinc before, so I'm going to choose metal M as zinc and metal N is definitely copper. Half equation of oxidation. Zinc become zinc to plus ion while copper to plus ion is decreased into copper for second reaction copper become copper to plus ion and silver plus ion is reduced into silver so zinc becomes zinc to plus ion by losing electron electron on the product copper become copper to plus ion by losing electron so electron on the product copper to plus reduced to copper by gaining electron so electron on the reactant and ag plus reduced to ag reduction gain electron so electron is on the reactant and now let's combine the equation to make the ionic equation in this case both sides have two electrons so we can cancel out the electron but in reaction 2 the electron is not balanced so for the half equation reduction need to be times by two so that two electron can be cancelled out so now we'll just write down what is left cu 2 ag plus Cu2 plus and 2 Ag. And here, zinc plus Cu2 plus zinc2 plus plus Cu. 
to summarize what we learned for displacement of metal from its salt solution, a more electropositive metal can displace a less electropositive metal from its salt solution, where the more electropositive metal undergo oxidation by losing electron, and the electron is received by the metal ion, and the metal ion undergo reduction. So the more electropositive metal act as reducing agent and the metal ion of less electropositive metal act as oxidizing agent. So what happened essentially is a transfer of electron from more electropositive metal to the metal ion of less electropositive metal. So that's all for today. I just like to remind everyone to stay home